do you say uh, to people? Uh, well, let me ask it this way. Uh, I've heard you prophesy uh, or just declare that Trump will be here for eight years. And I've heard other people with a prophetic gift say Trump will be here for eight years if my people pray and humble themselves and do battle or whatever. How would you describe the balance between what God would like, let's say another four years for President Trump, which I believe he does, versus us praying so that it will happen. I can, already, I, I can assure you that all the prayers, I would tell people to keep praying, but the prayers have already gone forth for him to be here for another four years. Good. Okay, I hadn't heard it. Well, literally, I'm really serious about that, that the prayers needed to keep him there and the people who people don't even know about by the tens of thousands that is what they've been doing every single day since 2016, not getting off their face, not stop declaring. So God doesn't need like every single person in the world to do something in the earth. He needs a people. He needs a remnant that that is their passion. What his passion is, is their passion. And right now, this is God's passion is for him to remain here. He is going to win in 2020. And God does not stop saying that to me. He says it to me almost every day. He will win. And he will do even greater things in the next four years than he did in the first four years. You know, one of the greatest tragedies of this generation of professing Christians, those who profess to follow Jesus Christ, is suffering these false prophets to continue in their folly. How is this possible? This video is still posted. Of course, this video from May of 2020, where one of the many times Cat Kerr, one of the most evil people on the face of this earth, prophesied with great confidence that Donald Trump was going to win the 2020 election. Now, I find this video so offensive because of the way that she did it. The way that she outright lies in the name of Jesus Christ. If you listen to the things that she said during these words, she said that it is God's passion that Trump serve another four years. She speaks for God, saying that it was his passion I mean, just let that sink in. It, it, it is so blasphemous what this woman does. And then the proclaimed followers of Christ who allow her to continue. She said, yeah, yeah, Trump's going to be reelected. He, he tells me this just about every day, she said. Because, you know, Kat Kerr says she talks to God multiple times a day. She goes to heaven at will. She even went as far as to say that not only will he be reelected, but that he's going to do even greater things in the next four years, speaking about Trump. And the ease in which she lies doesn't trouble any of the, fo the proclaimed followers of Jesus Christ. This woman who says that God told her to dye her hair pink so that she could stand out somehow, as though the word of God wasn't powerful enough, she had to dye her hair pink. That would really get the people to listen to her. It is such tragedy. It is such tragedy. These people who refuse to adhere to the word of God. To just throw their God-given common sense to the wind and just beg to get their itching ears tickled with this. 
fluff, these lies. It is just absolutely indescribable. I, I don't have the words. You can hear me pausing. It's just, how can anybody believe this? I'd expect things like this from psychics. But when people believe that God said this and they don't hold this woman accountable and all the other prophets who did the same thing, what do you think about God, you who follow Cat Kerr? What do you think God is? Do you think that God is a liar? Do you think that he can miss prophecies? When this person says that it's God's passion to have Trump in there, but somehow it didn't come to pass, who do you think God is? Because I can tell you, you don't believe in the God of the Bible. If you think that God can say it's my passion, oh yes, he's, not only is he going to get reelected, but he's going to do greater things in the next four years. I've got it all planned out, saith the Lord. And then he's not reelected. What do you think God is? How dare you? How dare all of you? What is wrong with you? Well, I'm going to stand against the false prophets. And you might come in and you might post your usual texts of touch not God's anointed. I'll tell you what. No anointed person in the world, in your comprehension, would ever claim to speak for God this kind of rubbish and have it fall flat on the floor. And yes, there are people that still think that this devil is anointed. But I'm telling you, I'm one who will stand and proclaim the perfection of Jesus Christ. He does not miss ever. And if you find yourself defending these false prophets more than you would the perfection of Jesus Christ, then you better get into your Bible and you better find out for yourself. You can start in Deuteronomy chapter 18, verses 20 through 22. Because this kind of stuff is not tolerated by God. And if you stand with Cat Kerr and all the other false prophets, trust me, you stand against the living God. And I don't say that lightly. Jesus himself even warning in the book of Revelation to the church of Thyatira, I have this against you. You suffer that woman Jezebel to teach false doctrine and seduce my servants. That's what false prophets do. They seduce the servants of Christ and they shipwreck their faith. Shame on you for allowing this. Wake up, come back to the truth of Jesus Christ and serve him only. You don't need these people. They are liars and they're getting rich lying in the name of Jesus Christ. This is your day. Wake up and fear the living God. He is perfect. He does not miss ever. In Jesus' name, I pray you will wake up.